Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do such an exciting video for you. I can't stand it. I'm going to do a video on diptyque candles. I have been wanting diptyque candles forever, and I don't know why it took me so long to get them. I think mainly because it's a pricey brand. They're expensive. But I finally did it, and I got my first candle. I actually got my first candle for Christmas. And I finished it. And I'll talk about that. And my first candle that I got for Christmas was the Big Colored Candle in Bay. Now it says B-A-I-E-S, but it is pronounced Bay. Now Diptyque was actually the first company that ever brought scent to wax. So the first people that ever came up with scented candles in 1963. And they are phenomenal candles. Now this candle is 10.2 ounces and retails for $90. And... Here's what it is now. I finished it. I burned it all the way down, and I now have yellow roses in it. They're real, and got them from Trader Joe's. It smells so good, and now, you think that's it? I have another bay because I can't be without bay. It smells so good. A lot of you probably can't be without bay either. Haha. <laughs> but it has a little article that says the art of wax and the process of how they make their candles, which is very interesting. It's a nine-step process. And this is probably what you've seen everybody on YouTube have, the Bay Candle from Diptyque. Now, you're actually supposed to smell it by popping the wax. Now, of course, it won't work on camera. But you can pop the wax out of the jar to smell it. This one doesn't want to come out for some reason, but that's okay. When you're in the store, they already have them pre- cut out. This is Bulgarian Rose and Black Currant. And it smells so good. It's ridiculous. Now, my room is pretty big at uh, my new house. It has a lot. It's a pretty big space. And one of these fills up my whole room on top of the whole upstairs. So I imagine if you do have an apartment, you only need one candle. Maybe one in your bedroom and then one for the rest of the house. But depending on the size of your apartment, one of these Diptyque candles will fill up the whole entire space. Now, this small candle right here retails for $60, and it is 60 hours of burn time. They are the cleanest burning candles, and I'll show you. But, oh, see, popped right out. You're supposed to smell the inside of the jar. It does. It smells totally different than just right here, because this is what you're going to smell in your room. It's amazing. So that is the Bay Candle. Love it. it. comes gift boxed and everything. Next is a figuar, which is a fig tree. Again, got your little paper. And there it is, a figuar. And I love that they're all white wax, white labels, except like the colored candles, but it really just makes it fit into every decor. Now this smells delightful they also have perfumes and they actually have philocycles which i eventually want to add to my perfume collection which smells just like the fig tree and it smells amazing literally incredible they also have a bay scent which is called a leombre dans l'eau it just smells like a fig tree sweetness of the fig but the earthiness and the greenness of the tree so it's not just like a classic fig. It does have the sweetness, but it just blends so, so well together. Next, I'm doing all like the classic ones. Roses, I mean, is that not just the most perfect packaging? Like it just looks perfect, I love it. And there's the Roses Candle. I believe this is just a blend of different roses. I could be wrong, but it smells so, so fresh and clean. It's ridiculous. Um, I also got a little mini gift with purchase roses as well. And you can't buy these on, your, on their own. There is a size in between that's $32, I believe. And these are the difference. So like I said, I've been burning this one in the bathroom when I take a bath. And this is like the perfect size for the bathroom. It's great. I don't ever have to buy them. When I buy my full-size candles, you always, 90% of the time, get a teeny-weeny size. So it's nice to burn in the bathroom. And 
this smells like you're opening up the windows in a rose garden. And like you have a rose garden in your backyard. It's so fresh. Their scents are so com complicated and comp not complicated, complex too. They're amazing. Let's see. Next, we're going to talk about my baby. This is Ben Join. Now, the box got a little dinged, but that's okay. <sighs> this is my baby. I've been burning it because I can't help it. It smells, they say, like a mix of caramel, vanilla, with a little bit of patchouli, I believe. It's actually one of my really, really good friends. I just became friends with her. Her name is Allison from the Diptyque Beverly Hills store. Hi, Allison. How are you? This is her boss, Jody's favorite. And... I can see why because it smells so good and they do have a perfume it's been sold out for a long time but whenever it gets back in stock I'm getting it because it's ridiculously ridiculously yummy oh I can't even describe it it's spicy but it's sweet the vanilla really makes it creamy and oh it just it burns great it's incredible and now is the perfect time to show you one of their accessories. This is the lid. Now, yes, they don't come with lids. So you do have to buy it, and it's $22, but I believe you only buy it. I mean, you can only buy it once. So whenever you're done burning your candle, just put the lid on. It looks really nice. It does say Diptyque Paris on it. And it just burns after you're done. But, of course, of course, I had to get the best accessory in the world. This coat of photos for. It says Diptyque Paris on here. You put your candle on here. You put the photos for right on top. Well, you light it first, then you put the photos for on. So you can still see the name. It's awesome. And it does not bring as much oxygen, so I believe that it lasts a lot longer, the candles, if you burn them with a photos for. But not only that, they smell like so much stronger than they already are because I don't even know why. It's just, it really does. It makes them smell a lot stronger than they are. It's ridiculous. I've never smelled anything like these candles, guys. If you've never tried Diptyque, you have to go in, into your local Nordstrom that sells them or a Diptyque boutique if you're lucky. I don't have one in Pittsburgh. Hopefully they do. But the photos for is $100 as well, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> Next, I have Santal, and by the way, I bought all these with my own money. I um, I didn't get sent these to review or anything. And this one is Santal, which means sandalwood. And I know people leave, either love sandalwood or hate sandalwood. I personally love it in everything. I love it in beauty products. I love it in fragrance. I just love the way it smells. It smells creamy, but it still smells woody. They do have a fragrance at Diptyque called Faux de Bois. I am not crazy about that at all. I smelled it when I was at the store, and it's just so smoky, but Allison did say it smells so much better when you burn it, so I'll probably be getting that sometime in the future just to try, maybe in the mini size, maybe not the, not the gift with purchase size, but the medium size to see, like put it in the bathroom or something and see how I like it. I'm sure I'll like it when it's done. It's just straight out of the jar. It's super strong, but this Santal... I feel like if you don't like Faux de Bois, sorry, you guys would love Santal. It just really mellows it down. Mellows it down. Sandalwood. It's incredible. Oh, still a little stuffed up. It looks like spring outside. I have natural lighting, but it's like 10 degrees. Next is Palmander. And I've been burning this as well. I actually just had this burning all last night. Pullmander, yes, and it's a an more orange wax. I believe, don't quote me on this, let me look on my phone. I believe this is uh, orange and cinnamon. Let me see. Diptyque Pullmander is incredible. <laughs> But I don't like using the word incredible all the time. Oh, by the way, these are 6.5 ounces if you guys were curious. I hate when descriptions don't tell you. 
Oh, that was on Amazon. Let me try the Diptyque website. Sorry, guys. But yeah, I mean, look at how pretty this is. It can go with any decor. It says reminiscent of a Christmas orange sprinkled with cloves and cinnamon. So this is definitely a very Christmassy type of smell, which is why I like it for this time of year, even though Christmas is over. It's still warm and comforting. So when it is really, really, um, really, really cold outside, you can just enjoy this nice warmth in your house of the Pomander from Diptyque. This blows Bath & Body Works Yankee Candle out of the water. Sure, they're good. Uh, they were good when I bought them, but they don't smell anymore. They don't smell the house. They don't. They just don't do anything for me anymore. Diptyque and Joe Malone candles are where it's at. And this is Rosa Viola. Now, every year, this is obviously my first year, they take their classic roses scent and they change it up a little bit. So this is Rosa Viola. They partnered with um, a designer. I'm not exactly sure which designer it is. It's, well, Olympia Letton Paul Diptyque. That was pretty bad. And they take their rose and they just add a few notes to it and change it. And look at how adorable this box is. It has lipstick and purses and stuff. And they said it's supposed to represent like the contents of a woman's bag. Roses, lipstick, leather, and violet. And this is the jar. It's pink. It, I don't know if you can see this, but it's raised. The, the label's raised. And it's almost like material. And it's sewn on there. And it says Rosa Viola, and it has a little kiss. And as you can see, I've burned this one the most. It's almost halfway. It's about right to here. This smells amazing, guys. It smells so beautiful. I don't like violet at all. Um, Lush has a Daddy O shampoo, and it smells good if you like violet, but I don't like violet at all. in florals, or I don't like the way it smells, flowers, perfumes, and anything. So the Rosa Viola is very interesting that I like it. I think the rose and the leather just kick that violet to the back corner. You guys might smell more violet, but it's amazing. It smells so beautiful. I want to try to save this because it is a Valentine's Day for like to burn on Valentine's Day, but I can never wait. It smells too good then to wait. Um, I love it. This is a little bit more expensive. It's $67 instead of 60, but again, 100% worth it. But I know that wasn't super descriptive, but I just wanted you guys to see my, there's no way I'll be able to do this all at once, but my incredible new love for Diptyque Paris. I need to try to take this off, this Christmas stick decal thing, but it's not coming off. I don't understand. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. Let me know if you've tried Diptyque, what scents you like, what you want me to try, and I'll see if I've tried them. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye again. <laughs>